Hey, um, folks, uh, sorry to read you my video and I don't, I don't know if I lost footage or whatnot. But yeah, I'm just starting over and, uh, letting you guys folks know about my review of Oh, hey, Bear. And yes, I will be doing a lot of reviews lately. I think I got one coming up for, uh, Orphan Blood. Not Orphan Black, but Orphan First Kill, and Scream 6, and Renfield. So yeah, those meet coming soon, so be sure to look out for them. But right now, I'm going to you a little bit of my of the summary of what I thought about Haymare, and give you a little bit of spoilers. And yes, yes, there are some comparisons to other movies out there like uh Anaconda, White Placid with um Betty White and uh one Jaws uh the May so anything that you that has anything that you that that has animals attacking humans Heck, even the Sharknado movies, but heck, even the Sharknado movies kind of are almost in that category realm. But anyway, those are kind of like what similar movies. But anyway, I'm going to let you guys know about some spoilers in the summary. I thought the movie was pretty good and I had no idea it was based on a true story, although that hit me a little bit, uh, a little bit kind of strange, but you never know. And, uh, also, let's see. Also, I first heard about it, and I knew it came out, oh, came out during my birth, my birthday month. And when I first heard about it, I thought it was going to be one of those ideas that Kevin Smith would come up with. And he did. And he had, and he's going to be making a movie about a Jaws parody that stars a moose. A.K.A. Moose Jaws. And I thought that would be one of his ideas. And yes, he came up with some crazy stuff like that. And he did, hell, even if one were a, a man turned into a walrus. And, and hanging girls fighting Nazi wiener schnitzels with hockey sticks, so that one called Yoga Hosers, and that was pretty funny, I enjoyed that one. And anyway, I'm kind of a little off topic here, but just trying to, I'm trying to come up with some similarities. And, um, let's see. And yes, the movie did kind of give me a little bit of a uh, without paddle vibes. And basically, it was kind of like almost the, the setting kind of took place during that time zone. Although, the difference between without paddle is without, without paddle had the, was telling the story of of three youths looking for the tre the lost treasure of Amy Cooper's hidden money somewhere in the woods. And Cocaine Bear was, well, you know, kind of sorry, kind of like remind me of that. Okay, anyway, moving on. Let's see. The actors I thought were hilarious in it, and especially Margot Martingale. Some of her things cracked me up when she found when she was face to face with the hooligans. Yes, I say hooligans. Not trying to be like Mr. Mosby, but I'm just trying to describe the yeah. When she would call the punk teenagers the new champs. And in this case, I call them the hooligans. 
so anyway, when she found out that the Hooians were r robbing the uh, robbing the part ranger for his office, that cracked me up so bad. Uh, the way she called them a pile of turds. <laughs> anyway, so her scenes were funny in the movie, and I couldn't help but crack up over them. Well, in all seriousness, I think the actors in the movie were pretty decent, and yes, including Ray Liotta, and rest in peace to Ray Liotta, I've always enjoyed his movies, and, and yes, I played the video game Grand Theft Auto Vicing, he makes one hell of a character in that. And even though he wasn't in, in much, much of the movie till later on, or almost toward the ending, where he's trying to look for the spoilers, where he's trying to look for the, for the bag that got dropped off from the airplane, he's trying to look for the bag that helped him, but we ended up being attacked by bears, by attack by a bear in the in the cubs. So that's kind of like this. this. That's kind of like the uh, a little bit of the spoilers. And yes, speaking of spoilers, there is what kind of slasher? And yes, it kind of has like the style of a slasher film. And uh, why, why would say a slasher film, you know, like movies like Alien versus the Alien movies, the Predator movies, and yes, the bear, I would say, would definitely be called a slasher, a slasher villain. But in this case, the bear seems to be more like a slasher villain rather than being a territorial creep territorial animal trying to protect the forest and her young cubs from getting near humans. And uh, lastly, the ending, the ending I thought was really good and it definitely kind of sets up, sets up a somewhat could, could be a sequel, sequel for the film, who knows as yet. And yes, I did see the alternate, yes, there is an alternate ending. Alternate ending in the film, in the EVE menu. You sure you check that out if you actually read the EVE, you check out the alternate ending, it's worth a watch. So, so anyway, uh, sorry, sorry if it was, I was kind of rambling, I, I had a little bit of note cards, I was kind of going off of that for memory, and, uh, if y'all have any or want to share something about it, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and rock you not, or hot you not everybody, rock on the any bottom, and peace out to all you scouts and chuckies out there. Don't forget to keep it rich.